Creating Ian was challenging. It took me a while to find the actual character. The challenging bit with Ian in general was not only we had to find his character, but we, he was kind of defining what an elf is in this world. There was a desire to really push them and make them more unique than a human, and to make them not just a human with pointy ears. The problem is, an elf is just a human with pointy ears. So we were making all these creatures with muzzles that look like donkeys. When I'm starting to just draw shapes, I want a silhouette that captures an emotion that's bold. There's always different tastes. The director has kind of an aesthetic. The designers and artists have an aesthetic. What the back and forth is, is design and character. And how do those two merge to create what we need for the story? Matt's doing a million drawings and then just found one that really felt like Ian. It really captured the idea of an awkward teen and yet still had this sweet appeal to it and still felt real and specific. And was wondering if you wanted to come over and get down on some cake. Ugh. That's not something any Says. Tom Holland was really good at the fumbling teenage stuff. I don't, I, I don't want to play at all. He's kind of like a, you know, like an awkward teenager who's trying to find himself. Ian, right? Oh, I didn't know you knew my, anyway. There's a lot of hemming and hawing and being embarrassed. If, if you like parties, then I'm, I was going to do a party. What? Which was perfect for the character that we needed. It actually helped push the character in the right direction. That's voice acting affecting the art, affecting the story, everybody kind of improving and finding this character together.